Hello crafters, welcome to the March 2021 Getting Crafty Take Home Craft Demo from Salem Public Library. This bookmobile, or bookmobile really, will not be carrying books to eager readers. Instead, we will make that other kind of mobile and we will use books, rather, or rather book pages, as the basis of the craft. Materials and tools you, you will need. The following items will be in the kit from Salem Public Library. Embroidery thread, cardboard and paper circles, shapes to use on the mobile. These items you will need at home. Scissors, white glue or glue stick, a hole punch, a tool to poke holes in cardboard circles such as a metal skewer, for example, a large sewing or darning needle with large opening eye. Setting up for success, be sure to cover your workspace to protect it. Place all your materials in the kit plus your tools on a table. Gently take off the paper rings that hold the embroidery thread. It's easy to tangle that thread, so take your time. I recommend you wind the thread around a pencil will be easier to use that way. Let's get started. Cover the cardboard circle with the paper circles, one on each side of the cardboard. A glue stick is preferable to the liquid glue. It just works better for this step. Press the paper onto the cardboard evenly and let the glue dry thoroughly. Now you need to use a hole punch and make four holes equal distance apart on the outside of the edge as shown in the photo. Cut four equal lengths of the embroidery thread and thread the needle with a length of thread and put it through one of the holes. Tie one end of the thread to the platform and to the to the platform and repeat this procedure with the remaining thread and holes. Use a loose ends of the thread to make a loop for hanging the mobile. Next, you're going to need to punch holes in the platform to attach varied lengths of thread to hold your cutout shapes. You can use a metal skewer for this, and uh, I recommend you put floral styrofoam between the platform and your table to protect your table. When you've punched out the holes, you can begin to add your thread and paper shapes to the mobile. To add paper shapes to the memo, use that large eyed eye needle and put a knot in the bottom of the longest length of thread and then put the needle through one of the pre-made holes in the upper side of the platform, pointing the needle downward. Gently thread the needle through the paper shape and gently pull the shape to the length you want the shape to hang. Remove the needle, cut and knot the thread at the desired length, Continue adding paper shapes this way. When you have finished adding all of the shapes, trim off excess dangling threads from the knots. See the arrow on the photo. And be careful, do not cut off the knots. When you've finished adding your hanging paper shapes and trimming excess threads, you may want to glue some of the small shapes added to your kit to the top of the platform to hide your thread knots. And there you have it. You've done the incomplete mobile. So you can see you make different lengths in the thread so that your shapes hang at different uh, heights. Tune in when the April Getting Crafty Take Home Craft Kit 2021 will be a colorful springtime greeting card from Salem Public Library. 
Free craft, mater craft materials are available for pickup at the library located at 821 East State Street, Salem, Ohio. Uh, you can call ahead to arrange for pickup or curbside service at 330-332-0042. Check into the library at www.salem.library.lib.oh.us to see about programming, services, and materials that we have available. See you next month.